Hi guys, it's Mary Hudson Channel, and um, I'm back again. I'm going to be doing the review of the Fred, limited edition Fred Elf kit, and he is a hobbit, and his name is Frodo Baggins Wood, and I'm going to be doing that for you all today because I have not seen a review on the Fred Elf kit, limited edition Fred Elf kit that looks exactly like me. I've always seen videos like from McPherson's and stuff, so I'm going to show you what he got in his his box. So this is the first thing he got in his box. It is an Explorer fox pajamas and it is from gerber and it's zero size zero to three months size zero to three months he got this carter's three months onesie carter's three month onesie then this is what he came had on in his um had on in his um pictures on facebook Um, 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 uh, on his pictures on Facebook, and it is a onesie, zero to three months, and it's a bug off. Um, it says bug off. Uh, I'm bugging you, onesie. And then this is a Harley Davidson six months. I'm surprised this fits him. Um, I'm surprised that this fits him. It's six months from Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson. And this is a long sleeve onesie. And this is also a Gerber, zero to three months. And this fits him as well, too. And newborn fits him also well, good, too. Um, and it says bear hugs. Little bear hugs. And these are the pants that came with it. This is his little, um, little stuffed animal called Smoochie from Tiny Beanie Baby. And this is a little big, so but I use it as a blanket. And it is a Halo sleep sack size large, 12 to 18 months, 22 to 28 pounds sleep sack. This is a sleep sack, and it says back. Back is best. So it says back is best. That's what it says. And that's that. Let me move all that out of the way. And let me see. This is his blanket. It has a teddy bear on it and it has all mustaches on it. And it's soft. So the next thing that also came in his box, I have more stuff coming from him for my sister, but it's kind of late. My adopted sister, Brianna Todd. So it's kind of late. So yeah, whenever it gets here, I'll show it to you. But I don't think the, the, the passies will fit him because he has an opposite magnet. So, but the passies that I do have them here, that I do have here, um, I had to rechange the magnet. That's all I had to do. And this is a blue, uh, blue purple first essentials magnet passy. It came in it. It came with them. And this is a green first essentials passy, and it's magnetic as well. Now, the limited edition Fred Elf kit with the belly plate is like a hundred and forty dollars. Rounded off because one thirty nine. And without the, without the, um, without the, um, belly plate, the actual kit itself is a hundred and fourteen hundred and twenty dollars, but it's one hundred nineteen plus shipping, so it'd be even more. So yeah, so he's seven pounds, twenty one inches. This is the limited edition Fred Elf kit. He looks just like me, and he has the. Spock ears. In real life, humans can get these, but it's on a rare occasion. It's an, it's a genetic disorder. It's when the cartilage in the ear forms up at a point. Forms up at a point. Um, but it's not normal in children. But people can get it. But it's on a slim chance. So if you look at me and look at him, you can see that we both look alike. He has painted red hair. Painted like reddish hair. And on the back of his kit, he says, he didn't have his um, COA or anything, but on the back of the kit, it says here, if you can see it really closely, if you can see it there, it says Carolina Wrench. That's his kit artist. And he was painted by Wild Child Reborn Nurseries out in Ellsbury, Missouri. His hands are really tiny. His hands are really tiny. He, this is his arms. This is what his arms look like. They look like mine when I was a baby. That's his left hand. 
And this is his right hand. His right hand has a little bent pinky. And this is what his elbows look like. This is what he looks like. He, I don't have to show you his cloth body because, you know, baby dolls. Some dolls, I mean, dolls have cloth bodies. But I want to show you one of his feet. I want to show you his feet a little bit before I put back on his, um... I want to show you his feet and legs before you put back on this, um, thing here. So this is, so this kid has a bent legs. You can see it. This kid has bent legs. Has bent legs. And this is what his foot looks like underneath. And these are what his toes look like. I can, oh, I can hold them up a little bit. This is what his toes look like. So that's what the that's what the Fred Elf toes look like. Those were my toes when I was a baby. So yeah, I'm gonna put that back on. But those are what my toes look like when I was a baby. So this kit, whole entire kit, looks like me from when I was a baby. So yeah, and this is what his other foot looks like underneath. And whoops, this is what the other foot looks like down under there. And then this is what. Oops, I'm trying not to flop his head a lot. But this is what his um his little other part of the leg looks like, if you can see it carefully. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm putting him upside down. That's what the other half of the leg looks like underneath there. Sorry about that. But, so that's the review of the Fred Elf kit. So, it, some people like this, can see the Fred Elf kit as a girl. Some people can see it as a boy. But I, I, in general, in general, I, I see the uh, Fred Elf kit as a boy in general, in general. But this kit is the only kit in the Reborn community that looks like me. So he's a hobbit. So his name is Frodo Baggins Wood. And I am now officially married to Elijah Jordan Wood for cosplay. Not in real life, though. I wish in real life, though. I wish, I wish, I so wish in real life I was married to him, though. But for right now, as cosplay, I am married to him. I just got married to him today. And we are officially a couple. And this is our son together. And we had him before before we got married. Um, I had him through a, through a, what do you call that? Not adoption agency, but through a, what do you call that? Um... um I saw, I found it went through a sperm bank or what do you call that sperm bank everything so that's what i did and that's how i um that is how i got the um got the got him and yeah so bye for now from my hundred channel bye